Alright, so now we will carry out a hypothesis test for proportions. So, let's say a biscuit manufacturer says that 8 out of 10 people uh, prefer his biscuit brand rather than the rival's brand. So, my proportion for success, that is P equals to 0 0.8 that is 0 0.8 that is 80 percent of the people uh, choose this uh, certain uh, manufacturer's brand now let's say in a random sample of 200 people let's say 152 choose his brand right so I can say that I can say that the observed value of proportion is 152 over 200 or 0 0.76 right so this shows a decrease uh, than the claimed pro proportion by the manufacturer so now we have to carry out a hi hypothesis test at a significance level of 5% So my first step will be declaring the null and alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis will be P equals to 0 0.8. The alternative, in this case, the observed value shows a decrease. So the alternative will be P less than 0 0.8. Now, the next step is... Uh, declaring the proportion so my proportions follow a normal distribution because n is large again and p equals to 0 0.8 and variance is p into q upon n so p is 0 0.8 q is 0 0.2 and n is 100 and now since my null alternative hypothesis, hypothesis is p less than 0 0.8 so I need to find the probability of p s less than 0. Point, sorry less than equals to 0 0.76 that is the observed value and everything to the extreme left so in proportions uh, the continuity correction is basically 1 plus sorry plus minus 1 upon 2n so since it's less than equal to 0 0.76 this can also be written as let's say less than 0 0.77 which means that I will add 1 uh, 1 upon 2n so this will in fact become probability of ps less than 0 0.7625 so I calculate my z value from the z test and this turns out to be 0 0.7625 minus 0 0.8 upon the variance that is 0.8 into 0.2 upon 200 entire thing under root sorry upon standard deviation not variance and this turns out to be minus 1.326 so on the bell curve let's say this is where it will lie and my z critical value is basically at 0.95% uh, and my critical region is on the left hand side because my alternative hypothesis is p less than 0 0.8 so my z critical value is 1.6 
that is my th somewhere around here so this was my critical region but my calculated z calc lies in the acceptance region that is over here so I can accept my null hypothesis so I'll say that there is not enough evidence to say that uh, to say that the probability has changed that is we accept the manufacturers claim that 8 out of 10 people do choose uh, prefer his uh, brand of biscuit over other brands so since my z calculated is greater than my z critical I accept null hypothesis. So that was a hypothesis test for proportions.